Moving right along, um, ASX-listed baby formula and baby food company Bubs has launched legal action to pursue $5.7 million in debt from its Chinese distributors Alice Trading and Willis Trading after they failed to deliver on their promise to sell stock. With now about five years' worth of Bubs Supreme Infant Formula being stacked up in the inventory. Nicole, a new report by threat assessment company Recorded Future has warned that companies doing business in China should prepare for cyber attacks, boycotts and law enforcement activity. Along with all of these civil disputes, is it becoming too risky, too dangerous to be doing business there? I think it has been highly risky, especially for Australian businesses to try and do business in China for some time. We've seen how quickly the Chinese retaliate against Australian companies when they want to. Uh, also, Amanda, in the last day, I think even the last sort of 12 or so hours, we've seen reports out of the USA that Chinese hackers have hacked into US government departments and agencies and targeted high-level officials, and the Biden administration's looking into it. So if they're hacking one of the world's biggest governments and world superpowers, what hope do small or medium businesses have uh, to try to protect themselves and their client list and their information from the threat of China?